somewhere. She's done it again. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> what did you dream about? I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah, we're ready, mate. Bugs. By the flies awake already, honestly. I just want cereal. Do you want wheat bix and honey? <laughs> okay. You wanna come help me? Oh. Honey in. You can put the honey in. Yep, and you can put the cereal in. Deal. Time to wake up. Good morning. It's not happening, mate. Just, can I have 45 minutes just so I feel like I'm in WA again? No. Oh. What are you doing? I'm doing my thing in here. What's next? Quick, the flies are coming out. Just do it under the door. Okay, just a little bit. I'm going to help you because it's heavy. I got space. Oh, I good job. Space. There's one. Bin. Mom, put the camera on now. Got it? <laughs> mush, mush, mush. Mush, mush, mush. I just can I make it? Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. We thought we'd do something a little bit different. I look extremely tired. Well, in this we photo. did just wake up. It's, <laughs> we just got it's up. ten past six in the morning, and it today, should be five o'clock where we were yesterday. So we're on the we're on the nullable yeah, now. Something by the way. like that. I think we're forty five minutes different. Yeah, which is flogging um, already. Well, you're not a morning person in general. No, you're not. Anyways, guys, what we thought we'd do today is do a bit of a day in the life. We've never done that before. We kind of do. We show it in our YouTubes, but we thought. This is something a little bit different and we'll just show you what we do. What we do on a daily basis. So we're nearly coming up to a year on the road and um, living in a combi with a kid. Has its challenges. And with me, isn't easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we sort of just want to show you sort of the realities mm. of it. Um, you know, behind the days when we're not filming these crazy tracks. What we do. What we do and how we do it, how we keep Zuri interested. Mm -hmm. um, just the, life. The pack up, the 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 setup, the whole sort of lot. So we thought, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll do a short video. It might be short, it might, might be long. We have Don't no know. idea. And I think the whole there's thing be is, no real... <laughs> we're filming now. We have no idea what this day is going to look like other than there's going to be a lot of driving, mm. a lot of entertaining. And so we're doing this as well because we had a lot of tracks in mind after the Holland track, which didn't quite pan out. Mm. Uh, one was the Balladonia track. Turn the car up here. I really want to show you something. This was the plan for after the Holland track. There's a track that goes from Esperance through here to Balladonia. So Balladonia is on the, the Nullarbor Road there. It's called the Balladonia track. This is where it pops out right here. So we couldn't show you it because Balladonia Road closed. Road closed. Um, four by four only, not suitable for caravans. It's saying not suitable for it. It doesn't say you can't do it. Anyway, there are plenty of things to see out here on the Nullarbor and there are plenty of things that uh, we've missed that we're going to have to do later. I'm fine with that. I'm it's fine with that. To leave something. It's always good to have a reason to come back and the Balladonia track is one of those, I think. So the Balladonia track is closed, so that sucks. So the, the there's a heat wave. Spit it out. Let's spit it out. There's a, <laughs> There's a, Sorry. There's, so, a, there's a heat wave warning it's, it's out It's coming. This there's a heat wave warning coming. We're going to travel fast. Um, also, I need medication oh, for yeah. the pregnancy. That's a big one. So, pretty sure we're going to be driving the whole day today. So, we're going to pack up really early, hit the road. We'll so probably full drive day on the full day on the Nullarbor because I need my pesa worries. I hate it when she says that <laughs> word. That's a thing that goes up though. <laughs> anyway, she's only got two left. And we need so. to get to Seduna. We need to get Which to that chemist. It may not even be open in Seduna, so we might have to go through to Port Lincoln. We're just going to have to keep hammering until we find these pessoaries. Anyways, guys, welcome to a day in the life. This is it. This is it. This is how it kind of begins. Oh, so oh. normally it starts with us making a coffee. No, I'm prepared. So I bought us yes. these iced coffees because... Fast. Fast. Oh, yeah. These are good. Anyone looking to do on the road travel or van life, this is one tip I want to give you straight up. Um, Don't put a gas burner outside because if when you're in WA, it's always bloody windy 
and it always blows your flame out and you end up hugging around this thing like, mm. oh, don't go out, don't go out. And it takes like Lesson 45 learned. minutes to boil pasta. We do love the, we love the process, but at the moment... I'd go induction next time. Yeah, we're in a hurry. So, so these, if you can find them... Next level. Next no level. sugar. Just like the so good. cold brew, milk, done. We're going to smash these. And pack, pack up. Pack up the van. Hit the road. Time lapse it. <laughs> <laughs> Heaps easier. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll hit the road and show you how life is. I'm really half asleep. You really are. And I need moisturiser. And your head is peeling from all the sun you've had. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to tap out. I've just got to have this coffee. It was a morning in June when I heard that tune falling up to the beat of your heart Like a white rain sails from a startled trail Our eyes met and then landed so well Get off my Washing the dishes this would have to be the worst part of the day, but let's be honest, yeah. it's the worst part of your day whether or not you're on the road or at home. Pa yeah. Washing it is, up. It is very frustrating and we have limited water, so we're always like, look, just like, oh, just use a little bit of water. A little bit of water. And then I'll pour it into the next bowl. And these bloody flies are coming <laughs> in thick and fast, so we're about to pack, we're packing up quick and we're gonna get out. I'll, set, I'll get Starlink down, there it is up there. So there's like, what, 3G here? Yeah. Pretty bad data. I love Starlink. Throw Starlink up, mate. I'm telling you what, like it's getting better. A lot of people ask, so what do you actually think? Like, has it let you down in the however Never. long you've had it? Never let us down. Never. Look, Zuri's watching a movie. Oh. We've, got, we've got the movie on the side of the, the you do. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Living our best life. Living the best life. Morning checks. Um. Who are we going to? Hey. Where are we going? Oh, where are we going? We're going to go to South Australia. Are we going there now? Yeah. Dad's just got to check the combi and make sure it's safe and ready. Ah! Ready. Oh, I love you. So, oil is good, but we've got a leaking, we've got a rear main oil leak, haven't we, Mum? Are you going to help Dad? Help you, Dad. You can. Dad, can you get a tool? And I want to help you, Dad. With a tool? I, there's no tools to fix this, mate. We're they might be gonna, later. You never know. Maybe later. You never know. We've got a long way to drive. Dad just has to top up the oil. Why? Because it, it's leaking oil. The combi's crying oil. It's Dad's combi. Hey. What's up, mate? Crying oil. Yeah. Now you just got to be quite for it's a hard, it's a full thing of oil, so it's quite hard to do without spilling. Look, I, it looks like honey. Honey? Yeah, look. It does look a bit like honey, doesn't it? Because it's got the same colour as it. Yeah, well, at the moment we've got <laughs> a rear main leak. Now, some of you going. <laughs> Some of you are probably saying, oh, what does that mean? That means nothing to me. Well, it's not a good leak. There's a big seal at the back of the engine, which seals the, f the flywheel where it joins to the, to the crank. Um, that's where it's coming out. I replaced it in Perth, thinking, you know, well, if you got your flywheel off, you might as well replace it. I replaced it, now it's worse. So what happens, <laughs> oil gets flicked absolutely everywhere at high RPM. Um, so it leaks a lot of oil, but also goes all over my clutch. So now when we go in sand, we get bogged, like we did in Lucky Bay and everywhere else that we went in sand. And I'm having to get max tracks and da-da-da-da-da-da-da and winch and da-da-da. So I'll throw it up on the screen. Obviously, that's why we've called it on sand. Mm. You watch, we'll end up in sand in about a few days' time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's... I just thought bugger it. I'm not. I'm not going to pull the engine out again between now and Newcastle. We just got to 
selectively pick what we do and I've just got to pull back on soft sand. But yeah, she's chewing through oil, but every two, every 300 Ks, I just get the oil and go, one, two, three. Well, we'll be doing double that today. We're doing a lot, so I'm probably gonna have to yeah, top so it Yeah, so halfway later. through today, we'll have yeah. to check it again. Mom, yeah, so she's full now. Are you my mum? Yeah, can I have a big kiss and a cuddle? I just want a one, uh, I just want a one. I want a big one, ready? <laughs> the one thing you don't see also is every day it starts like this. I like to start the car up, let it run for a bit, check the oil, because um, it's got a full flow oil system. So it sucks oil into the system, and then you check your oil, because if you check it early, you go, oh, look, it's heaps full. It's, so, it's not always the case. And then I let it run for a couple of minutes to really warm the oil up, warm everything up, because the last thing you want to do is just hit a highway at 100k an hour with a cold engine. So this is what I do every single morning, is warm it up, because a warm engine isn't going to wear as fast as a cold one. And you're always stoked whenever we have cool weather. It'll, yeah, it's, so, it's great. So cold weather's great when you're driving. Keeps everything cool. Cold weather is always got me worried when I start the car because your oil is so thick and there's been times where it's been cold, really yeah. cold. I've started it, the oil pressure's been so high. It's like blown seals, like blown the oil filter seal and there's this oil coming out of everywhere. So cold, cold. Not Pre too cold. Not, but today is good. Today's I reckon we're sitting about day. 20 to 20 something degrees. I reckon our oil temp, I'd like to be watching between that 90 and 100. And if it's sitting between 90 and 100, we are laughing. Because we're going to be at about 100k an hour, hopefully, with a bit of a tailwind, it looks like. Looks like, yeah, we've got a bit of a tailwind, like it's going to be hitting the back right hand corner of the car. So laughing, absolutely laughing. This is like best conditions for the nullable. Before you could speak, before you could weep, I held your hand in mine. Like a shell on a beach, waiting for your reach. <sighs> All packed up. It's a... So that's it, it's pretty quick for us. That is the beauty of having a small vehicle and set up. It is a pretty, pretty quick pack down, which is good. Everything has a spot though, so. Depends, because if we've been here for a while and Ziri has a bike down and then we've got the, the stroller down because we've been walking to a pub or yeah. then all of that, or dive gear out, that's when things, it's the packing mm. everything. Well, it makes sense really. The more it, you get out, the harder it is to pack up. True, but in comparison to like someone who's towing, our, our, we've watched everyone, our pack down is a lot quicker. All right, so that's it. We're gonna head down to the roadhouse. We all need to go to the toilet. Toilet stop, um, fuel. Yeah, so we'll fill up with fuel and then that's it. Then Put in some big Ks. Drive, 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 drive. Drive, 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 drive. drive. Oh dear. It's still early, really. It's still 45 minutes, so it's still quarter yeah, to six. See. If we're in WA right now, it'll be quarter to six. Yeah. That's early. It feels good though. It feels, I do like driving early. It's a nice feeling. Oh, Another thing, my starter motor still is playing up. <laughs> Under the car. Oh, no. 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 Yes! Slow and steady. Um, we've had some road works yesterday. That was a bit embarrassing, wasn't it? Oh, like I hate, I hate getting into road works because if the car's hot and the starter motor's hot, it's 50-50 whether or not she's going to start. So there was this one time I turned it off, and then they turned the green light on. We got to go through. There was heaps of traffic behind us. Didn't start. Wouldn't even start. So I was under there with a bloody screwdriver again. I know I can put a solar, I mean a, a relay on it. I know that I can do all that. But, and the funny thing is, I've got all that sitting there in the glove box. I've got the stuff to fix it there, but I just haven't done it. What's the fun in that? That would have to be the best view on the Nullarbor. So out of a lie. 
it's the one point that you get an actual appreciation for how vast and how how much nothing there is out there. So we're at a place called Ma Malura. <laughs> Hang on, I need to check. Oh, we're really bad. I think it's Malura Roadhouse. Anyway, you come down off this huge, off this. I don't even know what you call this, but you, there's this massive plateau, and it's it's a lot lower than wherever we were. Madura. Madura? Yeah, there's a song there. <laughs> Madura. And the song, who put, who? Put the dog down. Who, 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 who? I want that one. <laughs> so, that it started one. already. Yeah. This is honestly how most of our day started. Zuri wanting yeah. songs like Barbie Girl. You're going to see. Like, Zuri and I annoy Carsten. We just do a lot of singing and a lot of uh, old school songs. Yeah. It's funny, everybody thinks that Zuri sleeps the whole time during our trips. It's not true. It's the only time that we can actually film because she does not stop hey, talking. She is a great sleeper. Yesterday we had a whole day of driving and she was a little legend. She was amazing. But yeah, it, we have to do a lot of entertaining, which we'll show you today. How are you, mate? Oh, hello. I'm here by you for a break. How are you? Where are you staying here, mate? Yeah, it's ready for but I'm going to be here. Really? So you're from Norseman? Yeah. So you're from Norseman and you come out this way? I'm going to start a load from the shore. I'm coming to get you. Alright, so we've just left Madura. Nice guy. Loved combis. Tell me whether there were heaps of combis out here. Did he? Yeah, but they're all like later models. Um, and he was also telling me that um, a lot of all these old cars out here belong on the stations and they belong to the station. But what's happening is people are coming from the city people have uh, found out that there's cars out there yeah. and they're coming out and they're just taking them. So it's, they're stealing, and they're yeah, pretty much stealing from the station. Is that illegal? Oh yeah, it's illegal. Like you're stealing someone's car, but because yeah. they haven't got numbers of them written down or anything, and they probably haven't been registered for 50 years or something, um, these people are doing them up or they're selling them or flipping them or whatever they're doing. That's it happens sad. a lot, it happens a lot here in Oslo. Uh, Alright, so anyways, moving on. So we've got a big day of travel and Whenever we leave a petrol station, we usually try and figure out, all right, well, what we need to fill in 200 k so. Well, oh, we're probably only getting about 200, 250 at the absolute, maybe at the stiff of a rag. And I can probably check out Windy as well to check out, what do you reckon? Have we got a we're side? A we've got a side, yeah, a tail, wind. a partial tailwind. So we check good. out, we check out Windy and then we work out, yeah, fuel ahead of us pretty much. 200 k yeah. We're crossing to South Oster. Yeah, so in approximately 200 k's we'll be able to get fuel and we'll be crossing the border. So but then our time jumps forward two hours. So we're losing two hours again today. Well, we're losing two hours today. In two days, we wow. lose something like two and a half hours. Well, that's, I don't know if you guys can see that. And what I also do, because this is a really, um, this is a really long drive and we actually, we enjoy long drives, don't we? Oh, we best. love it. So I love we, it. we can drive all day and, and Zoo is well accustomed to it. Zuri loves it. She's been doing it since she was about six weeks old, so she loves it too. We play plenty of games. But here's a little tip. Mommy, I want yes. my Christmas. Camera? Yeah. I'll have a look for it in a second, alright? Um There you go. That's just a pretend one. I don't know where the other one is. Um Well, I don't actually know yet. 
I don't actually know. So yeah, hard. Mummy, I clipped it on Elsa's hair. Mermaid's hair. Wow. Mum, we'll see. No, they're twins now. Yeah. Okay. I just, I just found my hearted locations. I have a lot, so I don't think we're going to get through them all. But because we're, we're hugging the coastline today, which is cool. Um, so there, there's some really nice, if we get time, some ocean views. It is a bit overcast today, but um, I reckon we could have some pretty epic, maybe even a spot to pull off for lunch. Pull off? Ocean lookouts. Australian boy, that's what I hearted. Look at that! It's got it's got four and a it's got four and a half stars oh, and 37 ratings. That's good. Oh the great Australian boy! Oh. How do you not get excited for that stuff? Well, you get very What I don't like about the wiki thing, now obviously everyone's using it so everyone goes there. What I like to do is get Emma and look for that little brown dotted line and hit that. Yeah, but today is about quick little pull-offs. We're doing a long drive. Stop it. That is, you've just nailed that in one. A quick little pull-off is pretty much you and me, isn't it? That's pretty much. What are you talking about? Are you insulting me? Stop. I'm a quick big quick pull-off, mate. So whilst filming, Maxine always calls like pulling over a pull off <laughs> and I keep thinking god how am I going to get around this in the filming thing because you know, today I've just got to let her know that when you say we just it's a quick little pull off it, it can come across right. as another thing Max. you pull off the road yeah I, I don't I, I know I don't. a quick little pull over <laughs> might be a little bit better <laughs> Then a quick little pull My off. mind doesn't go where your mind Mate, goes. I know that, but you got to think. You don't know what these guys are thinking. Well, I'm sorry if you're thinking that, because that's not what it I'm thinking. It doesn't happen, so don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> She's done it again. She just said, no, but we are pulling off to the Great Australian Mine. I'm like, well, I'm not pulling off to it, mate. <laughs> Pulling over to have a look at the great Australian oh, no, boy. She pulled the sticker off. <laughs> See? Now she's pulling the sticker off. Stop. Max, get that out of your mind, mate. You do pull the sticker off. Oh. Yes, I'll let you get away with that one. Yeah, we just gotta find a safe There we go. Over. Overtake of our combi, like. You'd have to just be sitting back going, oh my god, maybe I should go a little bit faster. But we're sitting, I'm sitting on 110 at the moment, and you, that is pretty quick for a combi. Remember, we've got the big tyres, the big engine, um, and it's nice cool weather. So we're sitting, at the moment, my oil temp is sitting under 100, which is absolutely amazing. If you want to do, if you want to travel Australia cheap, <laughs> this is how you do it. Have a look at all, mate, here. Already. That went yeah, and there's a big whale here, which we need to 
going to stop off for lunch and I couldn't think of a more perfect spot. Do you want to see a big whale? No. Yeah. Let's see a big whale. Mm -hmm. Shall I make you some lunch at the big whale? Yeah. Woohoo! For me and whale. There it is. Here it is. We're turning in. Play in the playground. In a boat, there's the whale. Whoa. You have my word as the earth, as the sun, as the water, as the rock. There is no question there or none. You have my word as the branch, as the sky, as these lungs take the air. There is no question. Just three weeks to go Your father's preparations For you have found the flow And your mother, she is resting For a journey to bring you home And we'll see you when the winds begin to blow Yeah, we'll see you when the winds begin to blow Yeah, we'll see you when the winds Begin to blow. That's a bit too close for my liking. <laughs> wow, let's take that towel off. Look how blue it is. Can we swim? Babe, don't go too close to the edge. Oh, 
Holy moly. I don't want you to come out this way, Zoo. Oh, that makes me not feel very, um... Holy Down along the road wearing thick clothes, no coat, but still cold. Lost all my words and I lost my faith in my hope. Well, I've been losing sleep as my mind sinks to the deep and my burning out. I'm running out of pieces of this puzzle part Stop now, lie down, lay on in my arms when you're weak And I'll make you strong Shut your mind up, listen to my voice in your head And I'll give you some that's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in Australia. I'm putting it out there. That is just mesmerizing. It is. Like, it's dead set beautiful. There's nothing else around here. So, like, if you... <laughs> I have a Jesus in it. Oh, God. But I'm, I'm going to walk in because it's juice on this. There's, There's juice, juice on it. It doesn't work anymore. Mm. But, yeah, be most... It's breathtaking. It's just so so strange to look at, isn't it? It looks, we were saying when we were sitting, we, we got off on the roof and we just sat there for a while. I'll get you one in a second, okay? And we said, um, it actually looks like a screensaver. Like you could dead set looking... this film that and just stare. It's like a fish tank. You know, you just stare at fish tanks. Perfection. Perfection. That is amazing. The blue, everything. But there's nothing to do here. So, soldier on. Been there, done that, Been seen there, that. Been there, done that. You can sit and look at it. And that's about it. So we've still got a bit more driving to do. We're going to continue on. Um, no idea where we're staying tonight. We would like to get to, what's the name of that place? I keep forgetting it. Um, Pongo? No. Pong, Pongo, Patonga, Patong, Patongi. Anyway, per. So Anyways, I said per ends with A. Anyways, Go on there. We'd like to um, travel at least another, say, two. What, sun goes down. Oh, does the sun go down at eight? Oh Nearly God. nine o'clock tonight. Ten to nine. All right, that's, that's so that's, random. That's throwing a spanner in the works. Oh, so we really can take our time. We can just drive as long as we want until we're ready to stop, pretty much. In, on, on this the could potentially be the door. furthest we've ever driven in a day. Potentially. We'll just see how Zoo's going, how we're feeling. Um, it'd be nice to pull up at a place that has a pub so then we don't have to cook tonight. That'd be lovely. I'll test the beers for you both. We're, thanks. So kind of you. Yeah. Um, we love it. When we've had a big day of driving, we really can never be bothered to cook. So, this yeah. keeps going. Yeah. It's so not beautiful. Close. This is the great Australian bite, babe. So this is it. I this know. is where it's like someone's taking a bite out of the side we've of the... We've never been here before. We have. No, but we haven't come to this edge before. You I know, no, we, we did. Did we? <laughs> yeah, we did. We I can't remember because we have limited footage. Oh, we definitely didn't take any photos here. No, but why? Because it's so amazing. It's oh, you amazing. know why? You know why? Because it was 40 something, it was like 47 what? degrees when we did the Nullarbor in 2009. I reckon so we, we would have been hammering through, and there's nothing worse than being so close to the water and, and not being able to swim in it. I remember that always being imprinted in my mind the Nullarbor, hottest, hottest shit. And I'm pretty sure when we were doing it, it was funny because we were, I think we've said it before in videos, like complete amateurs. We spent 12 months traveling, our setup was I knew nothing horrendous. about the combi, it was probably overheating but dramatically. We, do you remember we nearly ran out of water too? And it was that 40 degree day and I was really annoyed at you because I was so thirsty and you were, like, new? you were like, Max, don't drink all the water. That's right, I wasn't letting you, we were on rations <laughs> Limited water! Dead set rations. Well, we're back out on the, um, the main street. On the main highway now. This section of the highway here, is actually an airstrip. Is it actually? Yeah, so 
there's a few of these, so the Royal Doctors or whatever plane mm -hmm. can land on these sections of road. So that's why they've cleared the sides. That's amazing. And um, aeroplanes can land on the highway. It's so straight. The sign. oversized stuff on this road, eh? Yeah, there is. Oh, that guy was just... With that, you just pull over and just let them pass because they're just going to go over into the dirt and just flick rocks all over you. That's the problem. This is what, our fourth, third fill up. Yeah, how much have we spent already? This is a friggin' expensive drive, eh? Yeah. Like it's nearly a hundred bucks every 200 k's. <laughs> <laughs> ching, ching, ching. Driven what five uh, quite a few quite a long way actually. Mm -hmm. um, I reckon we've leaked quite a lot of oil. So I'm gonna give you an idea. Every time I stop, this is how much oil comes out. Watch this. Look at that. It is everywhere. It's just gonna drip, 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 drip. So, there's no issue really. Well, it is an issue. If you don't keep topping it up, you're gonna run out of bloody oil. So that's something we're not gonna let happen. That's for shizzle on the nizzle. So we'll get in there. The thing is, and when the oil's hot as well, this is another annoying thing. When the oil gets hot, um, you can't actually read it on the gauge um, correctly. It's sort of, it's very, very watery. So you'll see there, look, it just drips straight off. Like it doesn't, it's so hard to actual, actually see how much oil. So what I've been doing is driving distance, then measuring it when it's cold. And it's roughly one, two, three seconds of oil for every 300 K. So, I oh know, it's probably not the right way to do it, but you know, when you gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do. So we'll top this up. It's always hard, it's a full full thing of oil, so it's pretty hard not to make a mess of it. We've got one, two Three, four. Because we've done 400 kilometers. So it still might be a little bit low, but it's better than being empty, but it also may be a little bit high, which just means it doesn't matter because it's all gonna bloody get pushed out anyway. So there you go. Call it a continuous oil change.
We don't need power. We're sitting at 95%. How is that even physically possible? We've driven all day. So, I don't know, it's 95%. Um, yeah, that's right. No, no we don't need power. No. No. Right. Dad's just going to book us in. Um, can we? And then we'll get our spot and then we'll go to the pub. Sound good? Yeah, it's his car. Where are we? Where are we? A soda can. Um, the back. Can I play with it? So that's that. Toilets, men's. I told you there's kids. There's kids. That's great. That's exciting. Can I play with them? After dinner. We need to go to the pub first. Yeah, we're going oh, like that. We're yeah, going to the yeah, pub. Right. You can't actually go down that way. I'll wait along there. So we're going to park on that or we can just park on the grass where it's nice and I think green. The grass is good. Bin. Woohoo! We made it! Can you get it? Yeah, thanks for being so good today. Uh -huh. That's a you that's a you that's a, that's your door. Yep. Dad's gonna get ya. Oh I'm stiff. Oh, come here, gorgeous. Yes. I'm proud of you. No, we need to see where you are, Zoo. Oh, yeah, because it's so far away. You can help us set up. So far. Yeah? You will see me. No, we need to be able to see you. We'll take you over there on the way to the pub. Can you take me, please? Do we want to set up when we get back from the pub? No, I'll at least set up the back so it's not even a... And that, my friends, is us set up. Um, there's, so that's Zuri's bed there. So she'll sleep that way. We sleep long ways, but we'll give you more of a tour of that when we do a van tour. Um, and then, yeah, then our kitchen obviously slides out the back, but we won't need that today because we're going to the pub. Anyway, Zuri's ran off. She's gone off to see some friends. I am absolutely exhausted. It might not seem a long way, but 650 Ks. Locked up the front, 
playing nursery rhymes and talking like Barbie, driving a combi. It's hard buddy work. Anyway, let's go to the pub, guys. Oh. All right. Good job setting up, babe. Yeah. Now we're off One to of the, the pub. One of the just gave me a beer. I was pretty So stoked. nice. We're, we're actually rushing to the pub right now. I've heard a rumor that it closes at eight and it's 7.30. I'd say just maybe for dinner. Order. Honestly, so for I'm so hangry right now. This pregnancy has got me good. And I've been, I've been thinking about this pub meal all afternoon, so I really hope we can get it. It, it works from the worst. It's a servo there and you can get yourself some Mrs. Max sausage rolls. Okay? Don't even. <laughs> Don't even. It's a beautiful light. Kind of reminds me, reminds me of when we're walking. Um... I could not be happier right now. We just ordered with 15 minutes to spare. What'd you get? Chicken stencil. Chicken. Mushroom gravy. Mushroom gravy. Yeah. What did you get? What did you order? I don't know. You don't know. Well, I got a beef stencil. I got a beef stencil. Apparently, it's from like half a cow, they reckon, um, with mushroom sauce. Looks so beautiful. That's probably the best light you can see it in, hey? Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't it? <sighs> Not a bad end of a day. A massive day on the road. But that's the light you want to be looking at those it's things. Beautiful. You know? That is cool. Look at the freaking colour. The silhouette. Holy shit. Ziri's not barking up a storm. God, it was hard at the pub. We didn't show anything there, but oh God, she was just off her head. She's been, been in the car all, all day. day so thing. she's been a little trooper, proud of oh. her. Mum and dad are tired. So what we're going to do right now is, and I will continue to take you through right through to bedtime, like I said. I'm going to take Zuri for a shower. I'm very excited about that personally. Camera's not going there. No, obviously. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm going to take Zuri for a shower and then um, we'll show you how we kind of get her to sleep. And, um, doing, and then, then I've got to do my needle and... And tap out. But look at that, out. Max. Holy shit. This is the beauty of the, of the life that we live on the road, you know? Our ever-changing backyard. We get to see some spectacular places. Yeah. We're very lucky. This happens every night. She gets to the pub and we end up having a meal. I'm not hungry. And then she eats half of it. And as soon as it's bedtime, I'm hungry. And then eats us out of house and home. I know, Anyways. mum. I know, mum. I'm getting back what I've given. Anyways, we're showered. We're clean. Next step is bedtime story. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Um, there is an apple. <laughs> you have to be gentle when you're asleep. Dad? I'm 
I'm gentle with you. I don't pull on your nose. Here's your apple. Apple girl. So you've got that stick on. Yeah. Is it yum? You love your eating. Is that your sleeping food? Mama, I want you. You want me? Yeah. What have you got on your face? I'm an apple man, apparently. <laughs> Am I an apple man? Yeah. I want Mama. I want baby. I gotta do the needles. Whereabouts? It's in the glove box, babe. For the baby? I, I gotta do the needles for the baby. For your baby brother or sister. I want this boy and a girl. You want a boy and a girl? There's only one baby in there. Hi. Hmm? We, ha we have to have one and then two. You want another one? Yep. Let's just do one first. One a boy and one a girl. Wow. One's going to be four and one's going <laughs> to be three. <laughs> no, one's going to be... Not happening. One's going to be four and Not one's going to be three. Not happening. <laughs> one's going to be three and one's going to be four. Not happening. Are you going to put the cinema up? Oh, this. Yeah. Ow! Don't pull my hair. Come here, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to do that again. <laughs> What's this is mummy's needle, is it? Just to help the baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I'm yeah. just gonna get the right angle. And the right. Oh god. See it, don't get too close, is it? Here we go. Where's a hole? Yeah. So a lot of them probably are wondering, why are you putting a needle in your guts? Oh yeah, so I started this as soon as we found out that we're pregnant. Pretty much this. Uh, and, that, and that is for the baby. It's for the baby. Yeah. Um, it thins my blood. So we've had multiple miscarriages before Zoo. And then Zoo was our first successful pregnancy. So we're just pretty much doing exactly the same as what we did with that pregnancy. So needles, and then I've got um, some progesterone that I insert in my little hoo-ha, and just the normal daily like pregnancy vitamins. So um, yeah. And that goes for 20 weeks? This, yeah, needles for about 20 weeks, yeah. So it's... Um, and that's because you've got antibodies that could potentially stop the blood to the baby. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm in a really awkward position Mama, here. I can see that. Um, she normally does it over here Mama, in the fridge, but for some Mama, reason she's done it down there. <laughs> well, Zuri wanted to watch. Yeah. She, she was good. You were well behaved, really Zuri. Good. Hey, Zuri, high five. Well done, mate. Thanks for being a good girl. Did I, did I move? You didn't. You were no, perfect. You did great. You were so I good. You were so good. Now this. we can lay down and watch the movie. No, I was doing this and I was moving. Oh, were you? Can you put that up there? You're cheeky, aren't you? Yeah. I love being cheeky. You love being cheeky, I know you do. Can you say good night, Zuzu? Good night, everybody. Say good night to Pop Pop. Good night, Pop. Good night, Nan. Good night. Good night, Grandma. Good night, everyone. Nighty night, big day. Yeah. This is how it ends nearly every day, isn't it? This position is very comfortable. <laughs> I love it when we get here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good part of the day. Super comfy. Oh, just need that nutter up the back. To close your <laughs> eyes and I go to sleep. She's still, it's currently 10 o'clock. Which is her, what is that for Zuzu? That's. 
Oh, great. Shit. Anyways, the beauty of it is we wake up when we wake up and we start it all again. We haven't even thought about what we're doing tomorrow. No. Anyway, good night, guys. Good night. Bye.